Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our 7th episode of our Discord.js tutorials. Um, today we'll be making a uh, kick and a ban command, just like in the old at, uh, episodes, but this time a bit better without arcs join 22, or slice 22 I mean. So yeah, let's get started. Uh, we're gonna make a kick file first yes okay so which modules we're gonna use is of course our rich and that stuff from discord.js um, our strip indents which we've used several times before indents require common tags and we're also going to use a function which I'm going to be writing in a minute called prompt message prompt message which will be in a functions file let's put js after it um, let's write that first so we've got our get member and format function format date function we're going to be writing a new one so the function is going to be a reaction collector or await reactions um, we're going to be using it with our kick and ban command to make sure you want to ban or kick a member. So it's like a second verification. Um, let's write the function prompt message is a, an async function with the parameters author time and valid reactions. So um, time, we're going to just pass in the seconds it'll transfer to milliseconds by this uh, for each reaction of the valid reactions we're going to await message react uh, the reaction which will be an emoji uh, filter comes filter is reaction and the user so if the emoji is in the valid reactions, so it's a valid emoji, we're going to make it work. And we're also going to only make it work if the message author is, a, is the same as the person who's reacting. So reaction emoji name and, and user ID is equal to author ID. So that's almost it. We're just gonna return message uh, await reactions filter and max one and also the time has to be the time. Okay, and don't do that. Uh, then collected Collected first and collected first emoji name. There we go. So that should work already. So now we're just going to write our kick command code. Okay, let's go. Um, our basic command setup again. Category is going to be moderation. Um, description kicks the member. Usage is going to be ID or mention. And then the run function, which is async client message arcs. Uh, first of all, we're going to define the channel, the log, and the verification message is going to be sent in. So, const log channel is set guild channels find. Uh, the channel name is going to be equal to logs, or we will just send it in the channel the message has been sent in. If the message is deletable, 
delete it. Um, so now we're going to just add a lot of checks. So we're sure the reasons provided the author has uh, permissions to ban or kick. Um, if the person you're trying to kick is not a bot or has higher permissions than you and go so on. So we'll just um, go on with the first one. No arguments. If no arguments. Return message reply. Please provide a reason to kick. Then delete the message. Just copy and paste that. Or copy it because we're going to use it several times now. Um, next one is no reason. Shoot. Have this no mention. If no arcs one, turn message reply. Please provide a reason to kick. And I see I made a mistake up here. Provide a person. Okay. Um, no author permissions. Message member has permission. Kick members. Um, return message reply. Okay, I got a lot of questions about how I did the emoji things in uh, Visual Studio Code. It's a built-in thing in Windows 10. So if you press the Windows button and the full stop or dot at the same time, you'll get this menu. And you can just select which emoji you want instead of going to the internet and uh, selecting with uh, Emojipedia and go so on. Um, I'll just copy and paste the string I've got here. Otherwise it's going to take way too long. Um, no bot permissions. If message killed me has the permission to kick the members. We're going to send the message again. Go. Um, comes to kick is either a mention. Message mentions members first. Or we're gonna get the member with the ID. Get arcs one zero, I mean. Um so we're going to check first of all if there's a found a member found. No member found. If not oh, no one um return message reply couldn't find that member, try again. And then delete that again with the copy and the paste. Come on, you should see your code, please. Okay, great. <laughs> Um, next of all, can't kick yourself, of course. If message author ID is equal to the to kick ID, we're going to return message reply. Can't kick yourself, smart boy. Okay, and delete the message again. Whoop. And finally, let's check if the person is actually kickable. So if to kick is not kickable, we are gonna return this message right here. Um, kick, kickable. Okay. And now we're going to write our embed. Const embed is a new rich embed. Uh, set color f zero zero zero. Go. Um, set thumbnail to kick user and the display 
avatar URL. Um, the footer is message member display name and uh, the message author display avatar URL. Um, set the timestamp. Uh, now the description, set description, strip indents, one, two, no, two, I need, um, kick number, two, kick, and two, kick ID, enter, kick, by me, uh -huh. uh, message author, and the message author ID, and the reason, of course, um, reason is arcs slice one and join it. That's it. Now we have to make another embed to show the prompt message. So that's going to be prompt embed is new rich embed set color green set author this verification becomes invalid after 30 seconds it's fine i think and the description description to you want to kick the kick the person kick kick person to kick there you go uh, okay so that's the message which which is going to be sent uh, to confirm if you want to kick or not um, now we're going to send the message General send prompt and that then async the message I don't know why I waited it it's better like this okay um, const emoji is wait prompt message 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 author um, 30 seconds and the uh, emojis we're going to be using so that's Check mark and that one. Uh, let's see if emoji is equal to that one. We're going to delete the message. Did I just async nothing? No, I don't want to async message. There we go. That's better. Uh, replace that with message. Delete it um, to kick, kick him. For the reason, slice one, join, blah, blah, blah. And if you cannot kick the person, we're going to catch it. Catch error. If there's an error, uh, return the message. Come on, I can't type. Send. Well, something went wrong and we're gonna send the embed to log channel send embed um, if the emoji is going to be should we make it an else if oh, let's go for it emoji is equal to that one message delete and reply kick cancelled then delete it again there we go uh, let's try out the code by node index as you see the kick command worked uh, let's see where, where are we gonna kick today Let's, let's do the alternate account. So, kick, kick, alternate account. 
account. Oh, hi, Connor. Oh my God. Uh, this is a reason. And then the verification comes in and then let's press this one. There you go. You've got the embed and as you see right here, the person is gone. Uh, no, Connor. And that was it actually. Um, I'm not sure how long this is taking, but I'll just put the ban command code in the GitHub repo because it's the same concept, but just with different variables and stuff. So instead of um, kicking here, you got a ban and stuff like that. So I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.